All right, what's up, group monkeys? In this video, I'm gonna go over something that's not so much like a group monkey feature, but it's one of the things that you probably want to do and you probably want to set up in order to actually use group monkey very efficiently, very effectively. So what this is, is setting up the questions for your group members when they join your group. So in order to do this, I'm gonna to go to one of my groups here. And what we're gonna do is we're, once we go to our group now, you do have to be an admin of this group. It's gotta be a group that you actually manage where you can, you know, change all the settings of the actual group and you can, you know, approve people or decline people that request to join your group. So one of the things that you want to actually do whenever you're setting up your group is you want to ask your group members specific questions as far as why they joined the group and more importantly, their contact information. So in order to do that, now these questions are going to be questions that you'll be able to grab the answers with GroupMonkey and then get all the data that these people have given you when they request to join the group. So in order to do that, you're just gonna to go to one of the groups that you manage. Again, I'm going over here to my Group Monkey Partners group. This is a partner program for Group Monkey for people who actually want to resell this software and offer it to their customers and keep 100% of the revenue. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to membership questions and we're going to add some questions. Uh, so I'm gonna add a question. Why did you become a Group Monkey Partner? And then we're just going to put a written answer, written answer here, and we're going to hit save. Now we have this question here, and we're going to create another question. Now you can create up to three different questions. You can have only one, you can have only two, or you can have up to three different questions. So we're going to ask another question here. What email address did you use to purchase the group monkey partner? program and we're going to change this from check checkbox to a written answer as well and we're going to hit save and then we're going to create one more question and this question is going to be are you interested in other software partner programs if yes i will message you about this so here we're going to put multiple choice and we're going to add an option, yes. And we're going to add an option, no thanks. And then we're going to go ahead and save this. So now you can see I can't create any more questions here because I've already created questions. And these questions are questions that now whenever somebody goes to join my group, they're going to first be presented with these questions in order to answer these questions they, in order to get into the group and request access to the group, they're gonna to have to give an answer to these questions. Now you'll see in the subsequent videos that GroupMonkey will be able to actually grab these questions and grab the answers for you and do all sorts of stuff with that information. So you really wanna make sure that you're creating these questions. One of the questions you should definitely be asking your the people who are requesting to join your group for an email address in exchange for something. I'm not exchanging something. I'm not giving them a free lead magnet or anything in this because this is a paid group and they've paid to actually be in this group. So if you have a paid group, you don't necessarily need to give them something for free to join the group because they've paid to actually join the group. If you have a free group, then in order to get their email address, you should incentivize them by offering them a lead magnet by giving them something for free. If you want some amazing stuff that you can give out for free, I have a bunch of amazing software like GroupMonkey and several other softwares that you can join a partner program for and you can use that SaaS software as a very high value lead magnet to collect the email addresses. But you should for sure be collecting the email addresses of all your group members and asking them other relevant, important informations that pertain to your particular group. 